The final act of the last EFL season belonged to Josh Windoss, with a flying header at Wembley to propel Sheffield Wednesday back to the championship. It completed a remarkable campaign for the Owls, unbeaten through a club record 23 games and recovering from four down in an epic playoff semi-final and it fired hopes that one of the great names in northern football might be on the way back. In two months since, the euphoria has given way to mild trepidation and Wednesday launched the season at home to Southampton on Friday with discontent rumbling about the exit of popular manager Darren Moore, a long period of inactivity in the transfer market and increased ticket prices. A lot has happened since promotion says Owls legend Carlton Palmer, who was with his son among Wednesday fans for the playoff final against Barnsley. It's all very strange, hard to make head or tail of it sometimes. It has definitely fallen flat. You'd think there would be plans in place. But when the manager leaves like that and you see the lack of transfers it seems like there was nothing in place. There will be a full house at Hillsborough for the first game and the place will be bouncing. But we all know this is going to be a tough season for Wednesday. Likeable former Watford boss Exisco Munoz has replaced Moore, and chairman Dijvon Chansiri spent most of the new manager's unveiling press conference trying to justify his decision and swiping out at critics, including Palmer. Chansiri bought the club in 2015. Although since his initial spending spree took them to the brink of the Premier League, he has lurched from one crisis to another and is back at the fore, buoyed by promotion, wrangling with fans in forums and hatching plans, including the relaunch of a bizarre 10-year season ticket. Prices range from £5,500 to £8,000 and the 10 years will not start to count down until the Owls are in the Premier League and for anyone with that sort of loose change, it must be purchased with cash, check or a bank transfer, not a credit or debit card. Plymouth came up with them as League One champions on a budget of little more than £4 million, and will continue to operate modestly as they try to survive in the championship. Ipswich, also promoted, spent big, are ambitious and looking to drive on under Kieran McKenna. The proximity of Premier League riches can have an intoxicating effect. The average annual salary spend in the division is £32 million and nearly two-thirds of the 24 clubs routinely shell out more on wages than they generate in revenue. Temptation leads clubs to the edge. Reading and Wigan crashed out last season with deductions for financial irregularities and now, all eyes are on Blackburn amid fears of a looming crisis at Ewood Park forcing them to sell players and casting doubt on the future of manager John Dahl Thomason. They are not alone. West Bromwich, who travel to Blackburn for their opener, is a club with fans locked in dispute with absentee owners, while a takeover at Birmingham has lifted some of the gloom at St Andrews. The toughest championship ever, predicted Huddersfield boss Neil Warnock, 74-year-old glutton for punishment, who has managed seven of the 24 teams in the division. The six teams who have come into our league are all improved on the six who departed, so it will be twice as difficult. Southampton go to Hillsborough for their first game after 11 years in the top flight, with new boss Russell Martin telling his Saints players it's more fun at this level. Unpredictability combined with the inherent danger of risking too much to be competitive has certainly made for a compelling spectacle. Martin reckons as many as 15 teams have eyes on promotion. Last season, when outsiders Luton Town and Coventry City contested the playoff final at Wembley, supports his theory. Even so, the three teams relegated from the top flight will start as favourites. They have squad depth and parachute cash, and they have been the only clubs in the second tier spending big money this summer, even if their star players are still being cherry-picked. Southampton are fighting off interest in stars including James Ward-Prowse, wanted by West Ham, and Romeo Lavia, wanted by Liverpool, but they will expect to have the Premier League in their sights when the final act comes around, again.